Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Idahoan Show. Today I am machining a new experimental bullet mold. I've made a few bullet molds in the past, but up to this point, most of the molds I've made proved to be rather tedious machining projects that produced rather inferior quality bullets. What I would really like is a simple way to make molds that would allow me to experiment with different projectile shapes without having to spend so much time machining the mold blocks themselves and the alignment features thereof and so forth. And I think I've come up with a solution to this problem. Namely, I start by machining a solid mold body with an integral handle and sprue plate, a large cylindrical bore down the center, and an adjusting screw at the bottom of the bore. Once the mold body is complete, I take a couple of flat bars, mill one surface flat and score it with a fly cutter, then clamp the bars together, tack weld them at the ends, and turn them down to a cylindrical profile that will closely fit the inside of the bore of the mold body. This gives me, in essence, a replaceable cavity mold. Anytime I want to try out a new bullet design, I can just chuck up the cavity bar in my lathe, machine the cavity that I want in the end of it, and cut off the portion that I need. I use the adjusting screw to ensure that the top of the cavity halves is even with the bottom of the sprue plate. Of course, to remove a bullet from the mold, I have to dump out the cavity halves as well, and then reassemble them with the mold in order to cast another bullet. Compared to a dedicated multi-cavity mold, this makes for very tedious casting, and also makes the mold temperature more difficult to regulate for optimal casting quality. As such, this design is really not suitable for high volume casting, but for low volume testing of experimental bullet designs, it's perfect. I will probably post my machining sketches on the Reloaders network in case any other aspiring projectile inventors want to make their own. In any case, thank you for watching The Idahoan Show.